Um, just wanted, can you shed light on the decision to leave behind Blackhawks and other equipment? How that fits in with the contingency plan the U.S. has? Leave behind. Blackhawks and other equipment. Why give the Taliban access to state-of-art equipment that they could either use to bolster their own defenses or sell off to other countries? This is, a, I think, a, a very good example of the difficult choices a president faces and a secretary of defense and a secretary of state and a national security advisor face in the context of the end of a 20-year war. Those Blackhawks were not given to the Taliban. They were given to the Afghan National Security Forces to be able to defend themselves at the specific request of President Ghani, who came to the Oval Office and asked for additional air capability, among other things. So the president had a choice. He could not give it to them with the risk that it would fall into the Taliban's hands eventually. Or he could give it to them with the hope that they could deploy it in service of defending their country. Both of those options had risks. He had to choose, and he made a choice. And from the point of view of that uh, particular narrow example to a, for, a much wider range of examples that we contend with, at the end of the day, what the president has focused on all the way through here is trying to take the information that's been presented to him, the risks, costs, and benefits, and make decisions that were in the best national security interests of the American people. He has tried to do that. He talked about that at length yesterday. Uh, and from that perspective, he believes the decision he made in this context was the right decision. Yes. Yeah.